break loose. Yeah. By faith, yeah. uh -huh. Abraham, when he was tested, mm -hmm. offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Hmm. So now Isaac yeah. is referred to as an only begotten son. Now that can't mean, that can't have anything to do with birth. Right. Why? Because, because, because Abraham had, right, two sons. Yes, sir. And Isaac was not the oldest. So only begotten son cannot have anything to do with just being an only son. And it can't have anything to really do with just being born. So then what is it, what is the connection between Jesus Christ being called the only begotten son and now Isaac being referred to in 11 and 17 as the only begotten son. Not only is Isaac referred to as the only begotten son in 11 and 17, but in the Greek Old Testament, which is called the Septuagint, he is also referred to as the only begotten. Now if we look in our Old Testament, he's just called your only son. Your only son. Your only son. Well, why would the Lord say your only son when he had two? Because the Lord gave him another assignment that hurt him to his heart. The Lord said, send Hagar and Ishmael away. Yes, and it hurt him because he loved both of his sons. He loved Ishmael and he loved Isaac. Both of them belonged to him. Both of them were his seeds. And he went to God and said, but can't you just bless Ishmael? And he said, I'm going to bless him. Look over in the Middle East. Is he blessed? Is he blessed? Yes. Ishmael doing all right. Yeah. He owns all the oil. Yeah. That's Ishmael. Yeah. Saudi Arabia, Ishmael. Oh, yeah. Iraq, Ishmael. The Lord blessed him. But he said, the sea mm -hmm. is not coming through Ishmael, it's coming through Isaac. I need somebody to want to get deep here. <laughs> I'm going to give him material blessings, but the spiritual blessing that will bless all nations is coming through Isaac. Now take Isaac, your only begotten son. But now what made him only begotten? Look with me here. Look at him. Look, 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 look. Hebrew 11. Verse 18, of whom it was said, look, 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 in Isaac your seed shall be called, now look real close to verse 19, concluding that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, look closely. From which he also received him in a figurative sense. Hold it. Huh. When did Isaac die? He didn't. But in a figurative sense, 
Yeah. He was dead. Yeah, yeah. As far as Abraham was concerned, yeah. Isaac was going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Isaac was dead, and Abraham had faith in God that even if my son dies, he's going to raise him up. Yes. How do I know that? Because if you go back and read in chapter 22, he said to the servants, wait here. Y'all ain't here. Wait here. The lad and I shall return. Now he went up on the mountain to kill him. He had the fire. He had the wood. He had the knife. He meant to kill him. But he said, we shall return. He had faith that God would raise him up. So the only thing I see in comparison is that in Isaac and in Jesus being called the only begotten, it had to do with the resurrection. Yeah. yeah. 